Surprise that the Columbia River Gorge did make the cut. The top spot overall goes to Stowe, Vermont. Yeah, there's always arguments across the country of who yeah. has the best fall show. <laughs> Up and down the East Coast, there's some pretty spectacular mm -hmm. things, but you know, we, we're not too bad early we're in not. fall, are we? We get some pretty spectacular colors. We do, great pops of the different colors. And you know, some of those trees are already starting to give up their shades of green. Yeah. I've seen it on a few of the trees and it's not surprising. I mean, we're about 10 days out now from the official start oh, to the autumn season. Coming. So the countdown is on September 22nd. That's when we usher in the brand new season, but we still got to pack our patients for the peak of the fall foliage to really start to take shape across the I-5 quarter, much of the Cascades until the middle of October. But boy, we will all just be blinking here and it will already be upon us as we take a live look at the fall light conditions that we're experiencing here across much of the Pacific Northwest. 61 degrees is where we currently sit with those clouds slowly starting to break apart across our area. And that is just picture perfect timing for the potential to see the northern lights. Now you'll have to look towards the northern horizon as this blue line is the visible line. So we're right on that fringe. There's about a 50 50 chance not expecting to see anything like what we saw back in the month of May, especially as that cloud coverage still remains across much of the I-5 corridor. Beautiful live look out over downtown Portland on this Thursday evening as we expect to hold on to those clear conditions through about three o'clock in the morning. Then the clouds, they'll start to increase once again, but it's not just the clouds. We'll likely be seeing a lot of that patchy fog develop as well as all is calm, quiet and clearing through much of the Willamette Valley and out along the coast. Now, our visibility expecting to be impacted for your morning commute tomorrow, expected to fall back to about a mile and a half in many cases for some of those lower lying elevations, but it quickly clears out by about nine, if not even eight o'clock tomorrow morning. There you go. That's the fog layer. It will be patchy in nature. We'll trade that out for a brief amount of sunshine before the cloud coverage finds its way back into our area, and then we see those rain chances do just the same, helping to keep temperatures on the cooler side as we work our way towards the weekend. So filling up the rain gauges at least through the end of the day on Saturday, nearing about a quarter of an inch. I think those numbers are slightly on the higher end of things, but we can only hope that we'll be able to see that much rain come to fruition by this weekend. Then we dry things out for the start of next week and Tuesday. That will be our big rainmaker of the week. And just look at what it does to our temperatures. Our average this time of year, 78, only making it up into the mid 60s for us come Tuesday. Now, if that's not enough fall like weather for you, talk about the freeze warnings in effect for the south central regions. That's where you need to protect your plants and your crops this evening. 54 degrees. That's all we fall to tonight night here in the city as patchy fog starts to develop tomorrow. Our end goal is 73 degrees as we see a few breaks in the cloud coverage, but then make it a little bit more widespread by the afternoon and evening hours. Seven day forecast again. It's not a washout of a weekend, but a few light rain showers are a possibility come Saturday. We dry things out for the start of next week with temperatures warming and peaking to the mid 70s before we see the return of the wet weather on Tuesday. That's where we only managed to make it to that 66 degree mark and those lingering scattered showers just take us into the middle of the week before more sunshine and those highs return to the 70s, but a very solid middle of September forecast for us. A little bit of everything for everyone. Yeah, and I was telling Jeff, you know, being outside much of tonight, the weather yeah. was perfect. It Josh. really feels nice. All right, thanks. Yeah. Well, exciting.